The Lunar New Year is a time of celebration. In Chinatown, they're feasting on Tasmanian rock lobster. China used to be the biggest market for this delicacy, before a trade stoush that smashed Australian businesses. Only last night I had a fisherman on the phone crying to me, you know, wondering how he's going to pay his bills. And yeah, it's, it, it's only the start, I think. For the best part of a year, China's trade sanctions have hit industry after industry. This was massive. This was the end of our export to China. The market's actually dropped to zero. We're all in survival mode. We, we, we're doing the best we can. That, that, that's all we can do. The dispute is about far more than trade. The trade barriers that China imposed on Australia in 2020 are cases of economic coercion. China is trying to coerce Australia into supporting, essentially, China's interests. There's a fierce debate about how to respond. We're not going to lay down in a fetal position and get kicked to death. I just do wonder how many times we might choose to poke the dragon before the dragon turns back and blows fire at us in a pretty painful way. We investigate China's trade sanctions against Australia. We'll meet the Australian business people hit hard by China's bans and tariffs. And we'll explore whether Beijing is using trade as a weapon in a campaign of political coercion.